you come to help with the rock lights? I've got some right here. I've had these rock lights for quite a while. I've been meaning to put them on the F-150, so it's time to get it done. I got these on Amazon. They're just white LED lights. There's three emitters in there, but you can get them in a couple of different colors. I'll roll that in now. I'm putting one in front and behind each wheel, so eight total. They sell them in sets of four for about 25 bucks. The rock lights, they look cool. First, second of all, at night or dusk, they do offer some extra vision for your spotter. Or if you're parked getting in and out of the vehicle or around camp it helps illuminate the area and if it's dark in the morning and you're about to leave you can turn on the rock lights and make sure you didn't leave any tools underneath it and that you don't run over your jack handle and bend it yeah so it's time to throw these in and wire them up to the aux beam switch panel but if you're interested in the switch panel or the wiring i'll have a link up above to that video now oh and real quick i already got the truck washed but even though i paid for it the underside is horrific oh that was still on the car. And you actually have pizza sauce. It's marinara sauce, thank you very much. That really shielded very well from the mud, but I don't know if anything under here would be any better. Anyway, this bracket here, or that pin, was in that hole and the bracket came in underneath here. I guess it held up some sort of like belt cover under the transmission. Well, I was already off the vehicle when I bought it, so, uh, but the brackets were just hanging out. So I took them off, drilled a hole, bolted the rock light into that bracket. All right, gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. It's Got it. Just cut the zip tie, don't cut the wire, but actually cut the zip tie. Come on, that's terrible. That's fine. Okay, now I just have to figure out how to route all of this wiring. All right, so I got the wiring roughed in now from the aux beam switch panel coming in around and down. There's my front rock light, so I'll tie in there. Routing might go through the frame interior. Well, I've been pulling wiring for probably the last hour and a half, but I've got this whole run buried in the frame all the way back, crossed over, and I've got one more section up at the very front to do. I've got to now do all the Termination wiring. Squirrel! Oh, look at you on those cushions. Almost as good as setting the hammock up on a warm day. If the baby's quiet, you may have to put up with a little rocking from the camera woman. It's all necessary, right? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, rock lights are definitely necessary. Necessary to see the final product. This is the way you get there. Ideally, there'd be like some wire taps here, but these wires are so thin that they don't like to go into the uh, taps. Right. If something goes wrong, I just have to cut it out, but I'm leaving a good little extra bit in there. Some play. I've wired them uh, clockwise, starting at the passenger front. So it comes around and loops. So if one light goes out, you'll know there's a break in the wire between the light that's on and the light that's out. Can you, can you grab me the heat gun? Little help here. Uh -oh. Can you hit all the lights without a sticker? On the aux beam? Yeah. <clears throat> Those sliders out. I don't know which one I wired it to. Mm. Not really. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Yay. I just got to clean up this wiring a bit. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Good show. Any of these wear points, I want to put some of this uh, split loom in just in case you know this starts moving a little bit and then try to zip tie everything tight so that it doesn't have room to wobble. Same thing up here where this goes into the frame, I have to put a piece up there and then tape it off on the wire. Oh, hey. Ooh, pretty. There it is. All the wiring's finally done. It's hidden neatly inside the frame. And the end result looks pretty cool. It also gives you a nice little glow around the door when you're getting in and out. Just come in here. I haven't put the sticker on just yet. We turn that off. And... All right, so I left my accessory lights on on the aux beam and I have this wired to body module three, I believe, which will continue to run for a couple of minutes after the key is taken out. But it gives a second to talk about the rock lights. As you can see, it gives a little bit of an underglow so you can see what's around or under the vehicle. That's the whole goal, right? See where your tires are and what rocks they're gonna be on. Secondarily, uh, it just looks neat. But on top of that, for loading kids in and out, things fall down, it's dark, you drop something near the vehicle, it's nice to be able to just quickly hit some light down low. So either you use it for four-wheeling at night, or if you're in around campsite, you can hit the lights, put them on, leave the vehicle off for a few minutes, and still have a little bit of a... We'll see, there they go. Still have a little bit of a navigation light around the vehicle. I'll have to decide what switch I want it to stay on eventually. Key goes in, powers up, hit that rock light button. And we're back. And that's about it. Appreciate you all joining us for another video. If you guys are enjoying what you're seeing on the channel, would really appreciate it if you click that subscribe button. And if you haven't seen anything that you've enjoyed, well, check us out next week. We'll have a new project for you. But as always, take care, and we will see you next time.